if you missed it in the last video, we cleared out this whole section over many, many days to be able to have my garden on one side and the chicken coop and run on the other. I figured because this actually gives the best sun on the property, even once all the leaves have their green foliage, at, at, you know, summertime, this will still be the sunniest spot. So maybe I can get a tomato before September this year. He is driving backwards. <laughs> I guess because we put so much weight on the front uh, and he doesn't want to have anything fall out or drop. But he's bringing the pavers that we're going to use for the flooring of the chicken coop that we're building today. <laughs> but he's coming. Slowly but surely. I am. Did my sexy on my tractor? Sure. <laughs> he wrote that song about me, you know. <laughs> well, we're just winging it, it's not too bad. Yeah, we are calling this good enough. By the way, there are plans over time as the seasons go, the chicken coop will move. That way they have better stuff to peck at. So it'll be here for a little bit, then it'll move into the woods, which will be cleared out a little bit, and then back here. So don't worry about this not being perfect, okay? So I was reading the dimensions. I kept seeing some of the comments about how it's smaller than it really says it is, but the dimensions were eight feet point one. This is exactly eight feet. And that kind of made me think, you know, a little edge of the metal is gonna stick over and I don't want that because I don't want anything to get up in the grooves of the metal siding. So I bought some mini papers. No, they're not the right color. No, they're not the right thickness. I'm gonna make it work. Guess who I found? Isn't he pretty? Just a little ring neck. I'm gonna go let him go. Distracted by the mail lady. She apologized for bringing the wrong package to us and brought the right package to us. Thanked me for taking the mail to the other person. So, and then there were snakes. Goodness, I'm gonna bring the chicken coop over.
I lied. I'm gonna wait for Jeremy. It's heavy. And I know trying to put the pieces together by myself is going to suck. Why not make my life a little easier, get some other stuff done, get some baking done. I have bagels to make today and sourdough and tortillas for dinner. So, I don't care today. It's a pretty day. I'm gonna go bake. All right. Jeremy ended up staying the night where he was with Adam, so it's going to be raining starting tomorrow for like five days. Got to get this done. Tried using the hand truck. Didn't work. Package says this one is 50 kegs and that one is 35 kegs. That's why at that length, that was a bit much for this short little hand truck. All right. Got a box of foam. Shoved it underneath so nothing would bend. Let's see what happens. Not the easiest path because it was much longer than the tractor, but it worked. Let's get her set up. They lied about no more rain today. It's sprinkling on me. Hopefully that's the worst it does. I have no clue what I'm gonna need for this. And it's starting to sprinkle a little bit more. All right, sped up montage in three, two, two, one. So apparently this is where you put the metal siding up first and then you build the frame inside. I, I was kind of banking on build the frame and put siding on. I was wrong. So this really has to be a two person build because you have to have one person holding it up high while the other one screws on the bottom and then attaches another piece while someone screws at the bottom. I can't do that right now. It's just me and it's a little gusty. And of course, when the kids get home, we have to immediately zoom off to cheerleading. Fiona has to do tumbling class so she can learn to do flips. So the weather lady said, tomorrow I think it's supposed to rain all day. And then the next day, nothing in the morning. So I may have to wait a couple days with everything spread out. So be it. I just want to point out that he's getting my tools out of the boat at the moment. They were working on the boat yesterday before the storms rolled in and took all my tools again.
Ain't that the picture? The farmer picture? Yeah. Wait. The wife is on that side. Okay. If I remember right. Is it in the middle or is it on the side? Outside. Outside. No, no, no. It's, she has her arm up. Oh, okay. If I remember right. It's been like since fifth grade. We did it! Huh? <laughs> I helped too. Uh huh. My fingers kind of hurt though. I think I'll be all right. My precious little head. I need a Manny. Manny? Petty? Manny. Manny. We'll go for Manny Petty too. Don't you judge me. <laughs> so now what? Now we do the inside, but that's a different video. Oh yeah, so we got this, we got to dry for the chickies. Now we got to make, now we got to give them a nice bed. Mm-hmm. And, and then, some wallpaper. Uh, do they get lights? They do. So we'll put some lights in there? I have my light right over there, ready to go in. Oh, that's right. All right, so. Solar power. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of that stuff. Because eventually you're going to get to see the chickens in all their glory. And then the egg laying begins. Mm -hmm. And it'll be omelets for days. I can't wait. I like omelets. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's it. All right. Bye. bye.